if you install this rom uh, i don't think you will have any major problem but hey guys welcome back to another new video so as you know i have uh, unlocked the bootloader of why media pet twr uh, mediapad t5 and also installed twrp and also i have installed uh, linux os 16 on this device so this is a review of uh, linux os 16 how it's running on my device and what are the problems and what are the solution of those problems so first of all uh, this rom has no major issue just few of of the bugs and those bugs actually can be fixed by you so um, if you haven't uh, unlocked your bootloader or installed TWRP and didn't try Linux OS yet, you can check my previous videos. I have explained thoroughly how you can do those things. So now come to the review first. So first of all, uh, the launcher you are uh, seeing here, that one is a launcher launcher. So if you uh, go to the uh, play store and the the uh, stock launcher has little problem with the gesture so i have to change that one and i am using launcher launcher so if you type the launcher i think you will get it so yeah uh, launcher 2 so i am using launcher 2 here and for the gesture um, i'm using um, because this is running on android 9 let me show you so as you can see the model number ags 2 w 9 that is for the 2 gig uh, 16 gig wi-fi version of media t5 and it's running on android 9 so there is no official support of android 9 just if you install lineage os then you will get android 9 and also there is no more custom rom for this device which is working on this device i have tried many of them and i'm going to try um, some of them in future and i will tell you which one is working so then uh, uh, for the gesture i'm is using fng so uh, and also i had the navigation button because uh, by using uh, magisk so if you don't uh, know which magisk you have to install you try magisk v17 uh, magisk version 17 uh, and go to your twf and flash it and it will work and please don't install any modules here some most of the modules crush your system so some of the modules is working for me is as you can see advanced charging controller which is um, control the charging and input power controller and pixify pix uh, pix 3 lifey and also uh, ram management fix by coke so um, i am using some of the uh, magic modules right now here and now for the what it called some of the problem of this device in my installation video also i have said there are some issue of the with this rom so those are not major issues so i found those two issue three issue actually so sometime uh, uh like this clash of clan crash if some something is big it crash uh, and if you try one two times and it will eventually work but uh, anyway it's not not happen with the, all of the apps only the sum of apps which i think not optimized for the rom or this is as you can see it's working fine and also sometimes the fng you see the register are not working so i have to go back and I have to on the fng again so that's why i, I kept one of the uh, button in the shortcut so uh, i i can use it to um, do my things otherwise i have to go to the setting and on it again so this two thing has gone and about app, app crash then another uh, uh, problem was with the viper for x so it was it, it came with viper for x and i have to disable it how i did it so i have installed magic so i have root permission uh, then i used this app called app to sd pro you can find it to in play store and i granted my root permission and i just disabled that app and my audio problem solved although in this rom the audio the loudness of the audio it's not that like while stock rom but but it in descent it will uh, get the job done and another thing is that about the display so the display sometimes feels little blurry so to fix that one you have to go to your um, 
developer option actually. So if you uh, if you don't see developer option here, you have to on it by going here and tapping on build number for five times. Then it will unlock the developer option, and if you you can go here and developer option and just scroll down, and if you you will find. Um, Disable HW overlay. So if, if you are on this one, then your display problem will be solved. So that time you will not see your display is blurry. Each time you uh, reboot, reboot your device, you have to go and check this one because if you reboot your device, it get unchecked automatically. I don't know why, but uh, it's oh, mm, it's the reason why you have to do it. So you have to reboot it. Then other thing is this ROM is totally functional. Wi-Fi is working fine. Uh, you can do everything Bluetooth is working fine and also the main thing of this ROM is uh, rather than using Huawei stop ROM is that uh, you can install app to your SD card or you can use SD card as your internal storage or you can do many things actually so because you have uh, much more option now you have your uh, magisk and other things so also camera on this device on this rom is working fine hopefully you can see it as you can see work uh, camera is working fine so you can uh, some uh, sometimes this app doesn't work but uh, it's work anyway no one going to use this phone to take picture but but if you really need to take some picture you can install uh, there are plenty of apps to snapping the photos so you can download any of them it will work really fine so other than that i haven't seen any problem with this device it's totally working fine and yeah, and it's totally functional if you install this rom uh, i don't think you will have any major problem but be careful about the thing is that don't install any magisk modules without knowing it will crash your device and if you crash your device then you have to go to your wrp and remove the module because i have done it many times so it's bricked my device that means I, I was not able to boot up my device so i have to go to wrp and uninstall the module um, then it works so um, nothing is uh, um, nothing big problem here actually so it's totally uh, uh, Daily driver ROM battery backup is good, good enough. And also, I'll, let me show you something else. And Google also working just fine. And you can install any Google apps, any things from Play Store, and there is no problem with that too. Also, the performance is better than why stock ROM actually. So, and and that's it for today and if you have any problem with your Huawei media player device you can uh, leave a comment below i will try to fix the problem or check the solution for that problem so thank you very much for watching see you next time